something big. Hey, what's going on, Snap and Catch It gang? It's your boy Noah out here, and we just drove back into the sticks a little ways, and we are gonna be fishing that same lake from last week. We got our copy rog rigged up, we got our brush hog rigged up, and we're gonna see what we can do. There's some slippery mud, that's for sure. Kayaks in, now I just gotta get in to the kayak. Pretty narrow little entryway up here. Onto the water. You guys seen our last video, we caught some monsters out of here. Looks like there's some little fish hiding back in here. Pull ourselves through the swamp. Oh yeah, there's some fish swimming in front of us already. We're on to something, guys. Here's the first one, we're being real quiet. There's fish everywhere out here. I don't know if they're just baby northerns like this or what, but. I have to get the pliers out for this. These hooked pretty good. That's that guy. Gone to something, boys. Something big. Only got a three pound test on, so we got to play it kind of safe. Gotta just drag fish you guys, sorry. I'm excited here. 
We've seen it jump, we know it's a nice sized one. It's a really nice sized one. We only got three pound test. That's why I'm always telling everybody these marabou hair jigs are king. There he is, we've seen him. Ooh, this is exciting. It's a fairly nice sized one. Probably the biggest northern pike we've caught all year. And they just cannot stay away from these marabou hair jigs. He's got a lot of fight in him. He's a big boy. Three pound test, boys. In the net. Whew. Give me some slack here. Mm, you can't beat that. Oh, there's something weird going on here. around the tip of the rod. There's that. Alrighty, we should be able to get him on up to now. Get a hold on this guy. Oh, that's a nice size one. See how slimy they are? See how it's just making bubbles in the net there? Oh, let's see. Oh. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. Look at that. He's a big guy, he's bleeding. God, I don't even have an estimate on weight for him. Got to be at least five. Oh yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll let him go. Good little ditch pickle. Whew. I think right now what they're doing is, is they're sitting on the weeds. Oh gosh, let me get my net washed off too. The are slimy and nasty. Uh, I think what they're doing right now is they're sitting on the edges of these lily pads targeting all the other little baby spawning fish. I think that's exactly what they're doing. Oh, that was good. That was a good catch. Yeah, I guarantee there's more of them. And that's what this marabou hair jig does. It, it imitates. We're gonna have to get a new one of those tied on as this guy is, I think, who raid its last hoorah. Alright, guys, we got another new marabou hair jig tied back on. That pike pulled us a pretty good distance away from where we were fishing, actually, so we got a little paddle ahead of us. Oh, that was fun. That was a good fight. That was a very good fight. We're just gonna drift on back in and See if we can't do it again. Let me know down in the comments below how you guys like cooking them. 
because I've, I've only had pike one time when I was a little kid. And let me know down below if you fillet them boneless or how it is with the bones in the fillets. But man, no oh man, that would have been a nice keeper. Alrighty, we're gonna go back to brush hog fishing for bass. But man, do those northern pike love the marabou hair jig. Oh, we didn't even get the hook set on this one. It might have swallowed it. There we go. That's what we're looking for, boys. Largemouth bass. It's a real pretty small one. little guy. We'll go ahead and we'll let him go. Fishing is in full swing here, that is for sure. I need to feel the, I was trying to readjust the kayak and just reeled into some weight. I thought there was a fish on it right away, but I wasn't sure. So I just kind of kept on working it. And then all of a sudden I felt it We're in a nicer one, boys. We're in a lot nicer sized one. We're hung up in the pads. It's all right. Let's keep tension. We're gonna do a nicer sized one for sure. I seen the hit. We're just reeling ourselves into it. Keeping that tension. That's why it's important to have that 14 pound test, boys. Oh, just another little guy. He's just hooked right alongside with that lily pad. Let's see here. See how we can navigate this. One hand paddling might help us do the job. Guy's been attacked by a pike. Oh wow, look at that hook. Look at that. How does that happen? It is out through his mouth. And the pike are just hammering these guys right now. It might have gotten hit by a pike. Actually, from the looks of it, look at that. I might need the pliers again. We're gonna get this guy back in the water. It got hit by a pike, I think, when we caught it. Ooh, nice little flip on the release. Let me get this thing re-rigged. We'll get back to it. Got one. It's a big one. It's a bigger one for sure. Oh, lost it. Lost it. God damn it. God 
Damn it. Oh, come on. Oh, this gas back in me. I don't know if it got the hook very good. It might not have. I scared it off. It was like a three pounder. Got him. Oh my god. Take a missing hook sets. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well guys, you just seen it. That was non-stop fishing action. I want to come back out here and do some bluegill fishing. They were jumping all over today. Bring some live bait, do a catch and cook. Ooh, let me know what you think about uh, northern pike for eating down in the comments below. I wouldn't mind trying one of those. And we'll definitely be back to this lake. Let me know if next video you want to see a new lake. But I guarantee you one thing, boys. We'll be catching fish. Whip.